Hey everyone, this is FTC, and this will be the first match I'm covering, Fattyzilla vs. Kokojo. Fattyzilla is on the bottom, Kokojo is on top. And before I actually start the match, I'm going to do a pre-battle analysis and see how well it holds up. And I won't just be using my analyses, I'll also be using some of some, some other people I saw, either on the forums or on IRC. So, Fattyzilla's squad, I think, has the advantage here, because he, first of all, he has a ninja that does 322 damage, which is lethal to two of... Kokujo's units. He also has a wizard that can one hit KO the archer, which is fairly lethal on its own right. And and he also has faster units in general. First of all, he has a speed save knight, which really can't be killed by three members of Kokujo's squad, which means if Kokujo's knight goes down, Gunther the knight is literally invulnerable because that archer deals less damage than his double regen, that, that wizard deals less damage than than his double regen because he absorbs fire and has ice and that bomb, well, it, unless it explodes, can't really hurt him because he absorbs fire. And as of course, then Ribbentrop the knight has um has defense up, which will make him very hard to kill as well. The only possible disadvantage of having a nine speed wizard though is because all the because because Fadizilla's player when he goes first and we'll have an 11-speed ninja, a 10-speed knight, and a 9-speed wizard go first against Kokujo's squad, but on a small map, that 9-speed wizard's probably going to end up charging an attack against one of the three there, probably Bolt, since fire is going to get absorbed. And because all of Kokujo's fastest units all have 9-speed, they're all going to be going next, and likely that archer will, will hit this, will, will mid-charge this wizard and hurt her for a lot. However, it won't be fatal because... Because Bolt has a charge speed of 3 and um, Time Strike has a charge speed of 4. Which means and even which means he might actually trigger HP Restore. Now, there otherwise this uh, however there is a couple of things that's not good for Fadizilla that could bring him down. As Jan Sport had pointed out yesterday in IRC, that ninja pretty much can't do anything other than use Phoenix down. Meaning, if that wizard does go down, that ninja will be doing nothing but using Phoenix now. Also, Kokujo has a knight capable of using Geomancy. That, is, that has a couple of huge advantages. First of all, there's only one unit in, in Fadizilla's squad that can, that can, use as, that can remove neg negative status, and that's that knight that has 462 HP. And if, and if that knight dies or is in the wrong part of the map, the, Petrify could literally turn the match around. Also, if that bomb explodes on the on the right number of units, well, Kokujo can easily turn a map that was three on three to three on one. And lastly, that wizard doesn't have short charge on Fadizilla's squad, meaning if he tries to use raise two, there's a very good chance he may he may get mid charged very hard. However, Kokujo doesn't have the offense to mid charge that wizard for much. As you will see, his knight, which does the most damage, has worse compat with the wizard, not best. Which means mid charging isn't really going to hurt. With that being said, let's begin the match. Now let's the actual match begin between Kokujo and between Fadizilla and Kokujo. Fadizilla's team is on top as player one, and it consists of Ribbentrop the Knight, Gunther the Knight, Carl the Ninja, and Lenny the Wizard. Kokujo's team has Coco Annoying the Knight. Coco Pope the Marksman, Fire Coco the Wizard, and Explode Kujo the, the Explosive. The first map will be on Coilery, on Coilery Underground, second floor. Let it begin. Now, this is a fairly big map, and as thus, it should favor Kokujo because his team stays together better. And even though the enemy team is faster, that ninja can't throw, and and Ribbentrop and the ninja because of their because of their combined moves are actually going to be going first, and they might get out of range. But as you see, this is not that too big of an issue because as big as this map is, we are playing on the horizontal axis of the map rather than the vertical, and the horizontal map axis is less. That's neutral compat, by the way. Two units hasted, time strike does worse impact damage, which doesn't help. 
and it gets damaged later. But then again, this is just basics. Okay, that's probably Bolt. And that archer is probably gonna die. And the archer was supposed to have absorbed that, but not absorbing it works too. And he goes back to health again. This is the other problem with with um with Fanny Zilla squad, it's that if a unit goes down, it's relatively hard for him to revive anyone because that wizard would much rather cast damage, especially if you can kill someone. I like that. That ninja, well... Besides the fact that he charges forward a lot, doesn't really... has only item, which is going to get countered very easily by Geomancy. So it's really up to those... So it's really up to the two knights to actually revive people. And I think the knight that went down was the one that knew Raze, which doesn't help. Now, luckily, Silence didn't go off on his team, or he would have already lost. Raise 2 goes off, and both knights are up. Casting Cure 3, I think. And H3 Restore goes off again. Now you see what the problem is. That wizard just won't go down normally. Restore doesn't go off this time. Which could be the end for that wizard. Okay. The wizard uses. Kokujo's use, wizard uses fire 3, which kills the ninja and heals the wizard. And gets rid of and gets rid of oil at the same time, which is great. And then the wizard and the ninja goes back up. You know, more healing this time from fire 4. And nobody gets hurt, thanks to high MEV. Notice that that knight's counter flood, although it does damage, is not very good at it. And Dragon Spirit on that ninja hasn't gone off once, which is kind of odd when you consider that that was kind of the point of that ninja. Not much is happening here. It's just who can get a better position against the opponent. And Double Shot finally gets rid of the wizard. Okay. And another double shot kills Kokujo's knight. Okay, this is what I was afraid of. Now, starting from here on out, the disadvantage should actually be on... Okay, Kokujo's now at the disadvantage because those two knights are now literally... In, are going to be very, very hard to kill between without that knight. What, remember, like I said before, one of them has worse... All the remaining units on Kokujo's squad has worse compatible than Skullther and really can't do damage against the others. And that wizard's out of MP. Which means Kokujo's wizard soon is going to go down rather forcefully. Yes, he can keep killing that wizard, but one of the knights is going to use rays, and the other one's just going to use his crossbow. Sooner or later, everything is going to come down. Time strike again. Worst impact doesn't really help you there. Then I think that knight's also out of MP, so he can't use rays anymore. So it's really now two on two, except it's two on two where one of the units really doesn't do damage. And bringing back that wizard does absolutely nothing because she's out of MP. Yes, the bomb. Well, what the bomb isn't gonna blow up. Strange. And since that was off of a counter attack, the bomb can't even use critical quick. So now it's finished. 
the arch. Okay, Coco Show is lost. That that archer is not only is not only not faster than the knight now because of because the knight had, had one speed save. He's also not able to actually save the wizard, nor is the wizard capable of doing anything to help him. So this is two on one, and it's going to be permanently two on one until that knight goes down. And it should be over right about now. Okay, so please return and you will see the next match. Okay, let's join us for round two of the Losers Bracket S5 Tournament. Now, this is going to be at Thieves 4. The first match we saw Coco Joe get destroyed because Geomancy didn't work very well. It was silence rather than petrify or don't act. And, well, those two knights pretty much completely destroyed Coco Joe's squad slowly but steadily once his wizard ran out of MP. Of course, the finishing blow was the fact that um, his explosive didn't even get a critical quick off because of because the damage was off of counter was off of damage split rather than direct damage. Now let's see let's see how well Coco Joe does on, on the thieves floor. Okay. The 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 geomancy here is I think Kamaitachi and uh, and water ball, which should be more useful. Again, three members of the of Fanny's little squad goes first, just because he's player one, and time strike goes off and doesn't do much. Okay, we're seeing some damage, but Fire 4 is likely going to actually heal a good number of the enemy squad, which might cancel a few attacks. I'm not sure why not with getting charged. Ice. Ah. Okay. Ninja goes down. Wizard is healed. But that ninja was in fact the most lethal member of um. Okay, so the wizard goes down too. So pretty much both sides have now lost their most lethal most lethal units. And I think that knight should go down after that. Ooh. Charged heal, but since this charge is um, off, ooh, that that is critical. That okay. As of now, I would argue that Coco Joe just won this because there's absolutely no way any of their units can heal Frog, or or um. Uh, so unless that ninja is revived, Fatty Zilla has no chance of winning this at all. And I think that's going to get mid-charged. Or that. But that won't affect the charge. Okay, so... Yes, and that's the knight that knows Esuna. So he still may have a chance, Fatty Zilla, if he can, as he, if he can heal the other knight who that's brought. If he can't, this is over. He chooses for damage instead, and... Okay. What? I see. That KO's virtually... That ko two members of the squad, so it's not that bad of an idea to explode. And since it, since a phoenix downed, um, bomb... Oh wow, counter flood killed a frog. Okay. And since the, the bomb is now in critical, He's more likely to explode again. This time probably right oh here where my cursor is. Since if he goes there, or never mind, the knight can do it too. Oh yes, and demon fire was dealing double damage because of um because of whatchamacallit? Because of oil. That's actually not a bad idea. So Kogujo wins round two. Let's see what happens on round three. For those of you who are just joining in, we saw Kogujo win round two off of, well, Geomancy, which turned one, which turned the, the, the key sandbagging unit, uh, not key sandbagging, the key walling unit on um, Fatty Zilla's team into a frog. Once that happened, and once the bomb took out two people, well, the rest was history. So now let's see if he can repeat that on map three, which is a small map, supposedly. Um, Finance River.
how this is small and the last one with medium is beyond me. Because to be honest, they look about the same. Oh, and I made a mistake in my pre game video that probably should affect things. Lenny was using Bolt, but notice how it didn't one hit KO the Archer because uh, I, mistaken, I mistakenly confused Ice Shield with Fire Shield. So, actually, um, the Ice Shield is the one that's weak against Lightning, the Fire Shield is weak against Water, which none of this team has, so. So so Kokuto's archer is not in so Kokuto's archer is not in as much as in, as in bad shape as it looks. And Ice Four goes off. Between that and time strike, the ninja dies. And oh, HP restore didn't go off this time. So like I said, words come back. Kokuto's wizard is gonna go strafe that person down. And damage split does nothing. I mean, damage what makes his attack deal nothing. Fire 3 goes on first, healing himself and the others. And of course, it gets rid of oil, which is always nice. Hmm, though it seems strange. It seems oil is only dealing 2x damage if it's damage and not on healing, which is strange. But that's probably another glitch in the AI for me to fix later. And Ice 4 goes off again. That, that wizard's dead, though. Okay, the ninja finally gets time to attack. And it one-shots the wizard. If that ninja can stay up for any longer period of time, this could be bad, but the bomb should put him down. And of course, oil goes out too, but apparently death com comes first, so oil isn't actually removed. Don't you love this? Don't you love how they coded the battle mechanics? Anyways, that wizard isn't going to go down yet and has HP restore, so it's going to take another turn from these nuts. So, Fighting Zilla right now is at the disadvantage because he's now being forced to defend, but it seems that event that he may be able to outlast his opponent simply because that wizard is now out of MP, while Fighting Zilla's wizard still has some MP to use. Geomancies here are Stop and um, Frog, both of which are not being annulled by the other team, so this could get interesting. Ribbon Shop goes behind, and stopped. Okay, so Ribbon Shop is stopped. So it's technically two on two because that wizard really can't do anything. I mean, the wizard on the, the wizard on, the wizard on um, Kokuto team really can't do anything. But now it's, except draw fire, which is actually not a bad idea since. Uh, okay, that wizard's getting mid charged. Okay, now it's three on one. Coco Joe might just win this because. And that knight. Gunther the knight actually isn't the knight that knows raid. So, yeah, Coco Joe actually is probably favored to win this because even if that wizard dies, all the, point, the whole point of that person is to draw fire. Yes, 156% missed last time. Off, I'm actually 156 damage missed off of 95% last time, which was very unlucky for Coco Joe. But here's the other problem. Good compat knight, and um, and eventually he's gonna get a stop proc off. And even if he doesn't, the bomb can blow up. So um, even though both of them have double regen, it shouldn't matter here. Dallas doesn't matter either way. Okay, it's over. No, it's not. Covered in oil, but I'm not so sure that makes a difference here. Double shot, but it didn't hit. The counter flood, okay, that knight's done because if I'm not mistaken, yeah, Tokusho wins this. Okay, everyone, we'll see you for the next match, which is um, not ZX Project versus Lightning Hacks.